What's good YouTubers? I'm Queen Happy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be seeing how to cut a mini skirt. Ta-da! So things we need to cut our skirt, we need scissors, cloth chalk, tape, and measurement book. These are the things we need to cut our mini skirt. So guys, since we've learned how to order, right, I think we should learn how to cut our skirt. The skirt will be out, you know. So, as you can see here, I folded up my fabric into two because I'm trying to cut the front part of my skirt. This is the front part and this is the back part of the fabric. Okay, so do well to fold out the back part because we're going to be marking down our measurements using the chalk. And we don't want the chalk visible on the front part of the fabric. So we are going to be marking it out on the back part. So here what you do is to get your measurement, your tape and of course your clothes chalk these are the three things we'll be needing for now so be sure that your fabric is placed properly and folded properly so here what we do is to mark out the skirt length which is 20. we're marking out the skirt length which is 20. the next thing we mark out is our hip line which is 10. that is our hip i'm zooming in so you can see what i'm doing that is our hip line at 10 and our waistline of course which is the beginning part of the fabric so proceeding we are going to be marking out our measurement on the fabric and starting with the measurement of the waist which is 28 remember we have to divide into four because we have the front part folded into two and we'll do the same for the back part of the skirt so i'm going to be teaching us how to divide into four using just our tape no calculator no brain work now fold your tape into four and the measurement you get is the division okay so we have seven which is 28 divided into four we have seven let's mark out our seven okay but i'm going to be adding one inch allowance that is where i was so so now we have eight so for our waist we have eight the next measurement is our hip so we are going to do the exact same thing we did for our waist on our hip dividing the tape into four and getting our measurement placing it on the fabric and then marking it out also don't forget to add your one inch allowance Remember, when you're adding one inch allowance from the onset, continue that way. Don't add one inch allowance on the waist and then you add two on the hip. You're going to have a skirt that is looking, um, I don't know. So one inch allowance all the way. Now the next measurement we'll mark out is our knee. Okay, so we have eight for the knee. And then we'll join. We'll join our markings together to get the shape of the skirt we want. I think this skirt is looking like a human being right now. It looks like me, actually. So we have our markings joined together. The next thing we do is cut out. Please, while cutting, ensure to give about a half inch allowance by cutting. Why I want you to give a half inch allowance because you're a beginner and I don't want you to cut before your marking because if, if you think you're cutting straight on the marking, you might be mistaken and cut before the marking. The next thing we do is to notch the center part of the front part of the skirt, if you get what I mean. And then mark out where you're going to have your dots and notch as well. So you're going to have a neat work while sewing. If you don't do these things, if you're doing it while you're sewing, you might have a rough work. Okay, so this is how the front part of the skirt looks like. So this is what it looks like. Now I've opened it up. You remember why we were marking out? We folded into two. Now for the back part of the skirt, guys, I'm doing some African kind of thing here. I'm using two fabrics to make a skirt. So for the back side, we have a different color of fabric. 
What we're going to do at the back part is to mark out two inches allowance before placing the front part on the fabric. Okay, so we're marking that out two inches before we've placed the front part on top. Now these two inches is our zip allowance, okay? This is where we're going to put in our zip and it is going to be at the back. So we're joining our markings and then here we'll place the front part of the skirt on the back fabric. And then what we do here is just to trace and cut, trace and cut. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please do well to watch the last video. <laughs>